What up, y'all? Let's get into it. We ain't finna waste no time. It's early. Dress like that. Dang. Don't you hate when your man trying to tell you how to dress? I'm like, dang. Really? <laughs> Let's see how bad it is. Hit that like button, subscribe if y'all new, man. We got L. Hodge, man. L. Hodge, thanks for the video, man. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for the video, man. All right, y'all. Let's go. We ain't going to waste no time. Turn on this damn sounds off. Mirror rolls. Babe, we're going to be late. Come on. Wait, one sec. You're not ready? Just one more thing. When they ever ready? It's been three hours. <laughs> hey, buddy. So, how do I look? Oh my gosh, I'm looking speechless. Perfect. Mm. What is this? This is my outfit for tonight. Why? Because <laughs> we're meeting your parents. Exactly. This is how you want to meet my parents for the first time? Yeah, they're African, so I thought this would be cute. Look you are stereotyping right now. I'm not stereotyping. I'm embracing the culture. That's a cute outfit, man. What? It's a nice dress. What? That's on fire. It ain't even showing nothing. That's on fire, right? And you know, meeting them halfway. What culture? The African culture. Who told you Africans dress like this? The internet. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, the internet tell them a lot of stuff and they believe it. Why, why do they believe it? That's the question. If you ain't seen it in person, why you believe it? That don't even make sense. There are no African dressed like this, okay? I also saw beads and I was gonna get some, but I really couldn't find any, so I... They do dress like that. It'd be, it'd be hot. I'm pretty sure they dress like that. Yeah. It's, yeah. They don't dress in cotton and all of that because it's too hot. You know what I'm saying? And they always, you know, touching the land and things like that. So, you know, certain materials. Mm -hmm. Look. I can see. You are oh, that's right? pretty nice. Yeah. It ain't even too far lower than the fingertips. It ain't showing no stomach. It ain't, it ain't too much going on. Nice outfit. For sure. I thought it was a full dress. Nice outfit. It was for the Two. first time. Yeah, that's why I thought this would be really good. It's not appropriate. Look, your stomach is out. Your chest Barely. is out. Your legs are out. Like, you're not covered. Barely. Oh, I did say they were traditional. Uh, what should I wear then? Something more comfortable. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> oh gosh. Look, your ass cheeks are out. Hmm. Why don't you just tell put some leggings on under that? Alright? Babe! <laughs> Babe! Coming, coming. Alright, let's see. Okay. Who are you supposed to be? The new Jesus? All right, now she can't, she said, you said comfortable, so that's what she thought you meant. I, I figured she was going to do that. Mm -hmm. Hoodie, sweater, all that stuff, a little comfortable outfit. I figured she was going to do that next. All right, let's see how he now, now he got a problem with this too. Oh gosh, he got a problem with everything. He can't do nothing right, huh? I'm the cute version, yeah. But why are you dressed like a homeless man with a little bit of money? Are you serious? Literally, my stomach, everything is covered. My stomach, my legs, my chest. That does not mean it's appropriate just because you are all covered. You're not going to hang out with your friends. You're going to meet my parents. I know, but they're traditional and I'm going to their house, so I figured if I couldn't wear the nice outfit, at least, you know, I'm covered. It's not about being covered or not, babe. This is my parents, okay? They're going to be judging you. But I'm so sweet. How can anybody judge me? Every parent friend me. They love to judge sweet people. That's what they're going to do. Yeah, let them. You know what I'm saying? Let them. But she needs to come as herself. She can't come as what they want her to come as. That don't even make sense. And then she gonna feel like she's stepping on eggshells while she around your parents. Like she can't say nothing or she can't be herself. That don't make sense. Right? So she, she needs to wear what she want to wear. If your parents don't accept it, who cares? Forget them. You know what I'm saying? Like, forget them. You don't accept my girl for how she is. Forget you. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You ain't caring about none of that. That's y'all problem nowadays. Y'all worry about what other people think. Forget what they think. It don't even matter. They ain't God. As long as they ain't God, I don't care. And God can show unconditional love. So he, he tell you to come as you as you are. You know what I'm saying? So you can come as you are. You come with the dress on. You come with no dress on. He don't care as long as you coming. You know what I'm saying? You coming through. You, you showing that respect. You showing that love. You know what I'm saying? You're getting them blessings. 
And y'all be worried about what people talking about. Forget what everybody else talking about. They ain't talking about nothing. They ain't talking about nothing. Dude, they're going to judge you, okay? Okay, well, if they judge me, that's a reflection of who they are exactly. and not about me, okay? So I'm not going to take offense to that. I feel like you've been living in L.A. too long because everything you just said sounds like somebody from L.A. would say, man, come over here. <laughs> I'm Dominican from Boston. We still feel the same. Same, exactly. It don't matter where you're from. See how they try to, uh, Babe, come on, hurry try to gaslight you. You know what I'm saying? Tell me. Try to gaslight Look, I figure you. we stop by and get some plantains for your family. Come on. You're joking, right? <laughs> That's not what you... All right, y'all tables turn real quick. Let's see what's going on. Let's see how she feel. Going to go see my family? What's wrong with I got Come on. We're not going to the mall or the movies. We're going to go see my family. This is the first time you're going to meet them. Man, I thought you said your family was cool. <laughs> my family's cooler than yours. I will say that. But still, they're going to judge low-key. Like, you have a stain on your sweater. Man, I'm only meeting your mom. What? No, you're not. You're going to meet my mom, my dad, my siblings, my cousin, my aunt, my uncle. My mom told everybody. It's a family affair. So? I'm coming in there with my shirt off. I'm coming in there with my shirt off. Like, I don't care. Babe, you knew it was today. Why didn't you wash your clothes yesterday? Well, I didn't know that this wasn't going to work. How did you not know that this wasn't going to work? Because I know I'm your dress. But you're literally just like a kid right now. They're going to think I'm dating a kid. Family son, just like my family. They can be judgmental. For y'all kids, man. I was just gonna walk in and say, I was just in my knee because I thought your mom was cool, but. Yo, don't say mommy. You can say que lo que and everyone will dap you up and be like, hey, he's cool, de lo mio. But like, if you add mommy, she'll be fine with it, but that'll make me so uncomfortable. So don't even. <laughs> so no plantains? No. Why are you stereotyping? I'm not stereotyping. Oh, gosh. <laughs> See, I thought his outfit was cool. You know what I'm saying? I thought her outfit was cool. You know what I'm saying? You just come as you are, man. They gonna say something regardless. Why he got red stripes? Why he get the, the one with the with the blue stripes or the green stripes? Ooh, I don't like that sweater. They gonna say something regardless. Like, oh, he didn't get a haircut? Yeah, they gonna say something regardless. They always got something to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, that way you can't worry about what people talking about. You can't get them no ounce of worry. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> Told y'all they ain't God. Get out of here, man. You got me stressing out here. They act like they try to act like you. They stay African. Hey. Hmm. What are you doing? I'm just taking a nap real quick. I've been calling you. You have? Oh, shoot. My phone's on silent. What's up? You ready? I mean, yeah. I just have to change into my clothes, but I'm good. Did you cook? No. Why not? Because I thought you were ordering food. Why would I order food? Because your parents are coming over. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm asking why you think I was going to do takeout. So that we can all have something to eat? I'm confused. Babe, this is their first time coming to our house, and you want me to do takeout? I don't see the problem. <laughs> first impression. That's the problem. They're going to think you don't know how to cook. So? Okay, first off, I do know how to cook. I just don't like cooking, so what's the big deal? I know that. They don't know that. So? That's why I need you to cook, so they know that you can actually cook. They don't cook. need to know that. Are you serious? So this is just like a rerun of like how I had to dress when I went to their house. You know how many times I changed? It was so complicated, and so you're telling me in my own house, I... And then as soon as she started cooking, I told you, my parents don't eat that. And now, now, now you got to prepare what they want. I mean, nobody care about that. That's what I'm telling y'all. Nobody care about that. We not, no. We not doing that. If you're not doing that, you don't like what we cook, then you ain't eating. <laughs> you order your own damn food. I man, you got to treat them people, man. I don't care how old they is, man. Treat them people just how they treat you. That's how, That was always been said, bro. You can't just give respect to people that don't respect you. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? You treat people how they treat you, period. Like, come on now. I can't even be myself. I have to pretend I like cooking right, right. and cook for them. Man, they're African, okay? Things are not the same. I don't know what you're used to, but for us, a lot of things don't work the same way it usually work for other people. Okay, so you basically are telling me to be a little bit like something that I'm not. If I yeah. want to just like relax and That's order iconic. takeout, I really don't see the problem with that. I don't see the problem with that, but they are coming to our house. Okay. We should feed them. 
We are going to feed them. Look, if we go to their house right now, they're going to cook for us. They're not going to make us get takeout. That's that's what I'm trying to explain to you. But here's the difference also. Like, they're a different generation. For them, yeah, maybe, like, they're used to being cooking at home, you know, when people come over. But for our generation, you know, we're so busy with work and stuff like that that... It's okay, and it's normal to do takeout. No, don't lock me in this new lost generation. I'm from the last generation. <laughs> I'm just young. You're from the last generation? Babe, we literally had takeout last night. Yeah, but my parents wasn't with us last night. Okay. <laughs> Can you just go quick, please? No, you cook. If it's that serious, you do it. Like, it sounds like you're trying to make the girl your slave. Like, you want to cook for your You cook for your parents. How about that? Right. How about that? See what I'm saying? It don't even make sense. You arguing her down for her to cook when you can go in there and cook. It don't even make sense. Tell my son, old generation. Old generation, the men would have went in there and started cooking. Because the men was cooking back in the day. Tell my son, old generation. It sounded like you only picked up some facts and you left everything else on the table. That would it sound like. You just picked what you like. Stupid. People always doing that too. That's how they did the Bible. They picked the parts they liked and the parts they ain't like, they ain't need, you know what I'm saying? They couldn't even incorporate it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Watch these people, man. These people are weird. They're goofy. They ain't goofies out here, man. These ducks out here, man. All these clowns out here, man. Shoot, man. What's wrong with these people, man? <laughs> what's wrong with these people? They're going to be here in 20 minutes. Make no sense. What I ain't finna argue with a girl down about cooking. I'm going to go cook. I can make man, quesadillas what? if you want. Oh, hey, my mom never had no quesadilla. Talk about a first time. My mom never had a case of dead, man. What? He acting crazy. This is how some of y'all be acting for it. I know this is a skit right here, but some of y'all really be doing this, and it's weird. Precious. She gonna have him be like chef's kids. No. You, you're missing the point here. Okay? I don't want them to come here, <laughs> look at you, and judge you, and feel a certain way about you they because McDonald's. they think that you may be what you're not. Again, I feel like this is deja vu from last time. If they are judging me, that's a reflection of them. It has right. nothing to do with me. I don't care what they have to say, honestly. I care. <laughs> because you... And that's the problem. You a man that's sitting here caring. That sounds crazy. That's what's wrong with these men nowadays. They care too much. They care about the wrong stuff at that, too. They care too much, and then they care about the wrong stuff. Problems, man. Mental problems, bro. I'll tell you what. Tell the day, man. Like I said, tell them motherfuckers go get their own food, and if they don't want to eat what y'all cook, and then if y'all don't cook, it really don't matter. Tell them still get their own food. I don't care who it is. The fuck you talking about? Who <laughs> with me? And they're my parents. My We're all right. family now. So. I'm marry I'm gonna probably marry you, not them. Right. Like. Technically, once you marry me, you're married into the family. Kinda. No, it's it's actually that's how I'm it works. I'm not gonna be living with your parents. It doesn't matter. I know, but that's why when they come here, I need you to make an effort. They're not gonna be coming here every day. Yo, the effort I made was cleaning this entire house from top to bottom. Okay. <laughs> that's a good effort. So what are we gonna do now? Now they just gonna come over here and not eat. They're going to eat. We're just gonna order food, babe. The food would have been prepared and on the way by now. This damn argument, they going back and forth about this damn shit. Or he could have went in there and started cooking. The food would have been almost done. He in there talking to her about this shit, trying to explain to her. And for her, I ain't going to lie. If y'all, if y'all, if, if, if it's, I would have been out. I would have been like, yeah, man, this ain't going to work. <laughs> Ghost mode, vanish mode, we out. Deuces, I'm out. Like, this ain't going to work, obviously. Obviously. You know what I'm saying? Red, it's too many red flags coming up. You know what? I'm probably calling my dad and telling him. Flag on the play, bro. Storm going on. Flag on the play, bro. We'll start throwing the flag out on y'all. Trying to do it. Flag on the play, bro. This ain't gonna work. I, I, if my parents come here <laughs> for the first time, please click. Okay. So today's off. No, just get ready because I'm gonna call my dad. Maybe we'll go to his house. I wish I knew your family was this complex when we first got together. Right. Right. Cause boy. Wake me up. Girl, you will not believe it. Also, I'm so sorry. I know I told you an hour. Ended up being three. Cause like, I was there early, right? Cause he was emphasizing the whole thing about a first impression. Girl, I am so sorry. I know I told you an hour and it ended up being all day. I literally was at the airport for three hours because the plane was delayed and no one cared to tell me. And then when they got there, they treated me like a bellhop. They literally gave me their luggages and didn't even say thank you. And I knew they could have helped. 
Bro, so stressful for what? I even had to fight off the police officers because they were like, ma'am, you have to move. And I was like, they're about to come out. But they weren't. <laughs> it took four hours. Ooh. I was like, what? Ooh, that's bad. I know how Atlanta airport be. I know how Atlanta airport be. They don't be playing, man. You sitting there too long. They like, you got to move your car away. <laughs> she said she was sitting there for four hours. Now, that's crazy. I would have waited home. I would have went somewhere else, went to sleep, woke back up tight. Shoot. Now, I normally go to uh, like a gas station or something, you know, or somewhere where I ain't got to be bothered. And I just tell them, yo, hit me up when you get outside. So that way you can just circle around, you know what I'm saying? You know how the Atlanta airport is. It'd be, a little, it'd be busy, right? And make sure everything good. Yeah, that's crazy. Hide out and come back in. It was, it was a lot. You know LAX. Oh, mm, LA. I don't really know why you feel like okay. that. Honestly, neither do I. It's so much work. And, like, it's like every time I see them, it's a new first impression. The first time, it was a first impression because it literally was the first time I saw them. I had to change my outfit, like, five times. The next time, it was a first impression because they were coming over my house. And then I had to cook, apparently. But I didn't know I had to cook. And now, because I'm picking them up, it's another first impression. Ah. I can't. How many first impressions am I going to have? Like, ten? It's ridiculous. Sheesh. Sounds like a lot. Um, yeah. But also... Hey, what you, you, you trying out for for NBA team right now? <laughs> like, you trying out to be a doctor? You know what I'm saying? You, you, what you doing? You taking, the, you taking the SATs? It's the, like, they, they, they got you, like, you know what I'm saying? What you going through all that for? Hey, that ain't worth it. That ain't even worth it. Because somebody that, like, can see who you is, they're going to see who you is. You ain't got to jump through all these hoops and loops and do all this magic tricks and all this backflip and right. And they're, 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 you ain't got to do none of that. They're going to see who you is about the person that you is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> Don't be surprised if you get a letter in the mail because your boss called and I kind of panicked. So you're not really employed anymore. Uh. What? That just got deep. How that happen? Why did you answer the phone? Did she answer the phone? She said your boss called and you're not employed anymore. Why did you answer the phone if it was my boss calling and you seen it? That don't even make sense. And secondly, my boss is God. First of all, ain't none of these employees y'all boss. I'm gonna let y'all know that right now. Cause who wake them up to get up and to be able to do their job? God, huh? Who put all these systems in play? God. So your boss is only God. I don't know about these other people. They 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 lower. They lower the bosses, I guess. You know, you know what I mean? They ain't really nobody. They still human just like you. They, you know what I mean? They ain't got no status, really. You know what I'm saying? Especially not in the real world, spiritual world. They ain't got no status. You know what I'm saying? They got status to the humans. Man, nobody care about that, really, though. It's 2024. Ain't nobody worried about that. <laughs> ain't nobody worried about that. They not the big God. They not big G. Not even close. They wish they was. That's why they try to tell y'all what to do all day long. You know what I'm saying? Why y'all at work? Man, fuck them. <laughs> fuck them, man. They be hating on y'all too, man. I don't have plenty of managers hating on me. Like, that's crazy. How you my, How you supposed to be my, uh? you know what I'm saying? My manager, you hate, supervisor, you hating on me. That's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? But it be like that. I'll see y'all in the next one, man. It be like that, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why, hey. That's why, that's why I know. That's why I know. My, my my boss God, I mean, you know what I'm saying, Big G, you know what I'm saying, he the high he the high most, you know what I'm saying. Anything less than that, I ain't even tripping. <laughs> Anything less than that, I ain't even tripping. Peace.